Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a very, very, very small haul video. It's very teeny tiny, but I needed to do it so I could open this one in particular. So, let's get going. So this first one I've left in, even though I'm not actually going to be opening any of it today. I wanted to show you that my advent arrived from Little Friendly Designs. So, thank you so much for purchasing my 2021 advent calendar. Oh, there's new things for the advent. So, items are limited and exclusive to the advent, and it is a 12 days. So, you can start opening your advent on the 1st of December and open an envelope every other night, or for the 12 nights of Christmas and start opening on the 14th. So, your last one is Christmas morning. And I am so grateful for this. Please open from day one to day 12. I've seen a couple of advents where they've said, no, you start on number 24 and count down. And I'm like, no, you start on number one. I need specific instructions. So I just wanted to share the specific instructions. Thank you, Jess. I need those instructions. Otherwise I get very anxious that I'm doing it the wrong way around um, and get things spoiled. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you that that is another of my advents have arrived. So I currently have three of my advents sitting here. Three out of my <coughs> 13. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> advent openings in December are going to be fun. So I literally have this. This is all that has arrived this week. These are all of my orders. And you can tell what this is. And it's literally a stack of date dots. Um, I did actually buy a mug from Philo Fabulous. No, it's not a mug, travel mug glittered mug that she has started doing but um it's in the kitchen so yeah um a postcard which i kind of love it's weird and i like it i like it uh so anyway i just bought one of every color so there's new colors but i just got one of every so we've gold i'm trying to show them off we have rose hollow there's like a pinky purple I like that one. I got black, which I like that it's black foil. Uh, those are hollow stars. Champagne, oh that one's, oh there we go. Champagne, mint green. I'm sorry for the wind in the background, it's exceptionally windy tonight. Pink, sparkle gold. That is so windy, I'm so sorry. Very sparkly silver hollow, iridescent -y sort of sparkles. Don't know what I would call that. <laughs> oh, I like that one. That's like an ombre blues and golds. Ombre green. A green. Uh, like shattered glass in blues and purples. Another ombre. And this very pretty blue sort of crystally shattered glass so yeah I got a lot of date dots I'm never gonna need to buy date dots again doesn't mean I won't though also I don't know if I have room for them in my sticker binder my sticker drawer it's getting a bit full I need to go through all my stickers anyway I wanted to open this and film a haul because this arrived. <laughs> and I kind of had to. I had to as soon as it came. I, I knew I could wait till the Saturday, but that was about it. That was the, the longest I could wait, quite frankly, to open this. I am so excited. <laughs> so it is the November Mystery Bundle from Stationery Wonderland. Um. And oh my god, I'm so excited because I've seen little hints of stuff. Caroline, I hope you love November's bundle. Sandra, I will. I will because I've seen hints. But I already know I love it. So we have vellum. Let's just... <clears throat> with that image. Okay, so Foxy is like a jokester selling stuff. And there's a kitty. Kitty with the uh, whoopee cushion. Also awesome. Call me silly. Foxy has a moustache. 
Foxy has a moustache and there is a vinyl sticker that says my evil twin did it with a moustached Foxy. So she is, oh, we're getting hints. We're getting more in depth into this story. So this is like an episode of Days of Our Lives and there is an evil twin. I always loved that. I used to, um, we don't really have stuff like Days of Our Lives here. You have to watch it on like random channels and I used to love, love it. Um, Sunset Beach was another one. If anybody remembers Sunset Beach. Am I dating myself now? Probably. Do I care? No. The only thing we really have ever had like it in the UK was called Footballers Wives and it was amazing. Um, and I'm fairly certain that had an evil twin with the moustache in it. I know Days of Our Lives did it. Like it's a trope from Days of Our Lives. But I think... Maybe Footballer's Wives did it have to check. Anyway, so Foxy has an evil twin. I love it. So here's the November freebie with Evil Foxy. But when, like, is Evil Foxy been here the whole time? Has Evil Foxy been part of this the whole time? So there's the journaling card. I love the little fake poop. Love it. Love it. Kitty with a whoopee cushion. Oh my God, that is so cute. Foxy with his fake shark's fin. And then die cuts. Please be one of Foxy and of shark, yes. Okay, I'm, I love Foxy and the shark's fin. It's not Foxy though. What's his name? What's his name? What should we call him? Does he have a name? I mean, you probably wouldn't know it because don't they pretend to be the person? So he's fake Foxy. He's Foxy's evil twin. And I think he's been in on this all along. So there's the bookmark, which is Kitty this time. It's rarely Kitty. I like that. that is, the wind is horrendous. I love the Kitty bookmark. I love the deco. I am so sorry about that wind. It's going to be really annoying in this video, but there's literally nothing I can do about it. I could film another time, but no. Um, but look, look at little Foxy's evil twin with this. Oh my God, oh my God. And so here's the kit. I get the cousin sized kit. And holy shit, I am loving this. So I need to know now, is Foxy's evil twin been in it all along? Or was Foxy's evil twin created last month in the bat kit? I am going to see if I've got it. I normally keep them like right here. Hold on. So last month, Foxy was there. Yeah, Foxy got bitten by Kitty. But there was one where there were two Foxies. Were there two Foxies? No. See, there were two Kitties. Shit, does that mean Kitty has an evil twin as well? Oh my god. Oh my God, I need to know. So if Evil Twin's been in it all the time, that would explain loads of things. But also, even if he hasn't, that also now gives Sandra the opportunity to just go nuts with it. Like you can go to extremes now because there's an Evil Twin it can always be blamed on. And, e oh, actually the moustache. No, see, the Evil Twin would hide the moustache or they would pretend that Foxy had grown a moustache. Which one's the good one? Like, is this the evil twin? Oh, see, now I'm going to be questioning this. Um, I love it. I absolutely love the idea of Foxy's evil twin. I absolutely love that he has a teeny tiny little moustache. And that's what makes him the evil twin. Because that is one of my favourite tropes from a soap opera. Is the moustache. And they're a totally different person. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's so cute. I also really like this vinyl just for the whole my evil twin did it. We had a running joke with the children that Ben had an evil twin that lived in the loft. I think it might have been Ben that started the joke if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, so like Ben has an evil twin that lives in our loft. Well, as far as we know, the evil twin is the one that lives in the loft. I mean, theoretically that could be the good one and we've got it all wrong. In which case, this could be the good one. We could have got it all wrong. Foxy that we know and love might actually be the bad. <gasps> Foxy that we know and love might actually be the evil one. 
the evil win, the evil twin. Just because this is Foxy's evil twin doesn't mean this isn't Foxy and the evil twin is the one that's been doing all the other stuff. Hmm? Hmm? Is the one with the moustache? Well, I mean, he does have an evil grin as well. He does. He has an evil grin. But is he the evil one? Or is he just a jokester? I mean, he's pretty evil with the shark's fin. I don't know, but I absolutely love it. This is possibly one of my favourite random stories to come out of this. I, I love doing unboxing these every month. Um, I, uh, the quality is fabulous. Stationery Wonderland's sticker quality, product quality is always impeccable and I love them. But it's this, the exclusive art that she does herself. Like it's not bought. Um, and I have no problem with bot. I don't use, I use that in my shop when it's open. I don't use anything that I draw myself pretty much because I can't draw. But Sandra can and the stuff she draws is amazing and I love how quirky and out there every kit is. Like it gets better and better and you never get the same thing twice. Like there's always something new and different and a funny angle to take from it and I just love it and yeah this is amazing I just love it look how cute I love his little moustache <laughs> oh my god um anyway so I'm gonna stop there before I gush anymore and before I just lose my mind trying to figure out which one's evil and which one's not I will be thinking about it all day anyway I'm gonna go. <laughs> so I will leave links to the two shops down below in this incredibly short haul, very short haul for me. It's not normally this teeny tiny, but it is what it is. So I will leave links down below. If anyone has any questions, please ask them down below or you can find me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram name just here. You can also find me in my Facebook group. If you request to join, please answer all three joining questions because that's how we get the bots. Um, yeah, and also Stationery Wonderland has a Facebook group. You should go join that. Everybody there is lovely. Um, and I will leave Sandra's details down below. I do have a discount code. It's not applicable on the subscription or bundles or anything, but it is on everything else. And yeah. Go, go shop at Station Wonderland because holy shit, how cute is my foxy? And I'm not going to lie, I think the evil twin might, might be my favourite at the moment. Yeah, I always liked a bad boy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.